Hello, welcome to my gallery. I'm Tim Packer. Uh, we're here at my gallery at 9 William Street West in Oshawa. And I have an artist friend of mine, Marissa Sweet, that is joining me today at the gallery. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And Marissa's here because we have an upcoming show at the gallery uh, called Crossing Paths, which is uh, going to be a group show of a number of artists whose paths I've crossed over the last almost 20 years of working as a professional artist. So these are all artists that I've become friends with and whose work I admire who have all generously agreed to come to my gallery um, for a group show. So thank you for joining us. Oh boy, and, it's an honor, uh, <laughs> yes. Thank and and um, I'd like you to start off by just telling everybody a little bit about, about you and your life and how you came to be one of us very fortunate people who, uh, who get to pursue our passion uh, for, for our living. Well, I started drawing at a young age, so I've always been drawing and sketching at a young age. Um, my life took me into the business uh, side of the world and uh, have a business degree. But then, um, turn of events, downsizing, I found myself at Curry's Art Store, and it was my passion to be surrounded by art. Because now I'm in a location where I'm surrounded by art, and I meet artists that come into place. And because of my background in education, um, the uh, manager of the store said, would you like to teach here at Curry's? And that's where I met you. That's where we first met. That's a long time ago. That was a long time ago. And so from there, I realized I really like teaching and I really love to teach painting. So that started the ball rolling and started to network from there and just started practicing, and um, and it just started my career as an artist from Curry's. That's amazing. Yeah. So you've also, you just finished the show at the Robert McLaughlin Gallery here, or it's on right now. It's on right now, and it's on for uh, nine weeks, and it's a, um, a, a group show yeah. with, the, uh, with nine of my friends from Oshawa Art Association. It's, uh, it's ongoing now. So. so that's a pretty big honor to be in that gallery for a show because that's one of Canada's top 10 public galleries. Yes. Um, and we've been there before. I think all of us have been in there as part of the, the jury show. show right? But to have an actual show that you're part of and have your work hanging there for uh, nine weeks, that's, uh, oh, that's it's something such special. An honor. Yes. Yeah, so congratulations special. on you. that. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your work. Mm -hmm. um, and and tell me a little bit about kind of your medium and your process and or is this oil or acrylic? That is oil. Okay. Yes, yeah. So I started with, uh, when of course when you're a kid, so you start with watercolor and then I moved into oil and then after about three, four years with oil, I went into acrylics and love it and now I'm back to oil. Yeah. So. Um, Totally different mediums, and I enjoy learning a lot about each medium. Um, I am all about the landscape, uh, the Canadian landscape, and I would like us to preserve uh, our environment and our landscape and our parks and our, our wetlands for future generations. So I want to show what we have, the beauty of nature around us, and my passion is to keep it going for yeah. the next generation. And where do you find a lot of your inspiration? Where do you go to seek out those uh, scenes that speak to you? So I would like to go up north and here in Ontario there's this uh, very beautiful huge park called Algonquin. Yeah. So I always like to go there, uh, definitely. We go interior camping, so we go out into the bush really <laughs> and uh, canoe a lot. And so that is my inspiration for my paintings. And where is this piece from? This is from uh, Algonquin. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, that is at the Barren Canyon. It's at the north end of Algonquin. And uh, we canoed into this spot, and this is actually a portage rest stop. So we had our little lunch there, and I just love the light. Uh, and I just took a this, photograph and I just fell in love with the place. Well, this is a beautiful piece because it's funny. People always say to me, I know where that is. Yeah. And when you, when you really get it right, like a real universal image, 
that speaks to people, right. they think they've been there. And I thought I knew where that was, yes. and that wasn't it. But but yeah. that's what I, that's what I really know a piece really speaks to me when I think I know where that yes. is. And when you find out that's not where it is, then it's like, wow, that artist really nailed that. That when you make it so universal that everybody feels they've been, they've been there. there. Yeah. yeah. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be here for. The show? Yes. And November. Now, are you going to be here painting at all during the show? I would like to. Okay, yes. so yeah, so Marissa will be here painting for at least one of the days of the show. We'll put that schedule up Out. there. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Now, I, again, because we have a lot of people watching uh, my YouTube channel who are aspiring artists, mm -hmm. um, some of them very young, some of them much older. Um, yes. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about nowadays, we're all living so much older, is we have time for a second act. But yes. like me, look, both of us, yeah. right? we both had yeah. prior Indeed. careers. Yeah. So if you, if someone was to ask you what one piece of advice would you give to somebody who dreamed of having a life in art, what would you say to them? Well, first of all, don't let go of that dream. Keep it going and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Work, work, work as hard as you can. Try to learn every time you do a painting and try not to compare yourself with other other people and, and just don't be so judgmental of yourself. Be kind to yourself and don't say like, oh, this is not working out. Just just overcome yeah. and, and just, you know, just keep working at it. That's pretty much what I tell almost everyone. Really. Because I think we all do. I mean, I, I actually put that dream aside for almost 20 years because See? I was afraid to fail. Uh oh. <laughs> and, and I thought if yeah. I reach for that brass ring and I don't get it, I thought it was a one-time reach. Right. And if you missed it, then that's it. And so I always wanted to have that dream in the back of my mind as a possibility. Yeah. And that for me was really kind of um, freeing when I realized that there's going to be lots of failures. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, and that's part of the process. But like I said, don't give up don't on the dream. Fight. Just keep, keep moving, moving forward, forward, forward. And um, because, yeah, this is a marathon. It's not it a is, sprint. It's not a sprint. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank um, you. I can't wait for the show. Um, and thank you for joining us. Uh, so I'm Tim Packer. Uh, so once again, we're having the show Crossing Paths uh, coming up starting on November 3rd at my gallery at 9 William Street West in Oshawa. And you'll be able to come down here and see the beautiful work of Marissa as well as probably eight or nine other artists. So thanks for joining us. I appreciate you giving me your time and I'll see you next time.